As a high school vocational agriculture teacher, I usually spend Saturdays checking on projects of boys in my classes. Big changes have taken place in farming. Horses used to be the backbone of the American farm. Not anymore. Traveling through the countryside, I'm reminded that now, with machines, a man can farm much more land. The average farm is getting larger. More farm homes are being abandoned, for our country does not need as many farmers now. Yet, farm production is up, because yield per acre is greater. It takes a big investment in land and equipment to be a successful farmer now. But there are many more careers in agriculture. I knew that the boy I was about to see had been concerned about his career in agriculture. He was Richard Evans. I saw Mr. Wilson arrive. I knew Mom and my sister, Ellen, were inviting him for supper. Ellen is a teacher, too, home economics. Mr. Wilson was going to help me with my project, but I had other things on my mind. My future. My younger brother, Stanley, was doing my work so I could talk with Mr. Wilson. What was I going to do after I finished high school? I thought I wanted to stay in agriculture. There were many specialized kinds of farming I was interested in. Both Stanley and I enjoyed working in the field. Did I want to be a grain farmer? Or I might enjoy dairy farming. I might make a success in hogs, too. Or in poultry. But I knew that farming was just one of many careers in agriculture. The others, though, weren't clear in my mind. I thought it would help Richard's understanding of opportunities in agriculture if he saw that many agricultural careers are related to what is done on his own farm. For example, his father was getting ready to plant. The seed he was using was a hybrid developed by agricultural research, especially for this part of the country. Careers in agricultural research are expanding. Animal hybrid and crossbreeding research is going on, developing better strains of animals. Other research jobs lie in fields of disease and insect control, in developing new fertilizers for more efficient growing of plants, and research in ways to use byproducts. This research is opening the doors to many new markets for agriculture. So agricultural research offers many jobs to young men and women, especially those with college training. As I watched Richard's father, I was reminded that Richard knew a great deal about farm machinery. Careers are open in the industry that produces farm machinery, especially to young men with agricultural backgrounds. Agricultural industry includes dairy processing, packaging, and marketing. Meat and poultry packing offer many jobs. So does lime and fertilizer production, and grain and seed processing. These are but some of many types of agricultural industry. In all of them, people with agricultural backgrounds and training are needed in management, production, and design. Yes, agricultural industry offers many career opportunities to young men like Richard. As we looked across the road at the field where Stanley was now cultivating, we were both reminded of the growing needs for soil conservation and the many jobs in other phases of agricultural conservation. There are jobs in our state and national forests and parks. Forest rangers and park superintendents need a knowledge of soils and plants. Other people are needed to direct the work of reforestation, to handle wildlife management, 
and to carry on the work at fish hatcheries. Conservation jobs require an interest in living things and the kind of work background that farm life provides. Richard felt that conservation was a career he would like to consider. It was related to so many of his interests. And he and Stanley had talked a lot about conservation practices in farming. But we had not looked at Richard's agriculture project. He had charge of the hog enterprise, and we were going to vaccinate the hogs. Richard liked taking care of animals. In fact, he had even thought of becoming a veterinarian. This is one type of work in a much larger career area, what we call the agricultural services. There are jobs at the soil testing lab, analyzing the soil for farmers, so that the proper fertilizer needs can be determined. This provides an important service for farmers. There are jobs with the Dairy Herd Improvement Association, testing milk, another important service. Farm agents have jobs in the service area too, advising farmers in many ways. And many agricultural service personnel are hired by the United States Department of Agriculture, which provides services in many phases of agriculture to not only American farmers, but to farmers from all over the world. There are many jobs in the service area, especially for people with college training. Richard could see that the careers in agricultural service offered many opportunities. He liked the fact that this type of work was closely related to farmers and farming. By the time we'd finished the vaccinations, Richard's older brother, James, had come home and we'd stop to talk with him. James, a feed salesman, was in the business end of agriculture, another important career area. In stockyards and other agricultural marketplaces, there are jobs buying, selling, inspecting, and grading farm products. People with farm and ranch backgrounds often fill these jobs. Many banks employ farm management personnel to advise farmers who do business with the banks. These people must understand farming and a farmer's problems and needs. Many other people with farming experience are selling farm implements. An agricultural background is also helpful to people in the greenhouse and nursery business. There are many opportunities in agricultural businesses, as Richard could see. The livestock top prices for number one and two grade hogs, averaging 190 to around 230 pounds, range up to 20 at St. Paul. In the house, Richard's father was listening to a market broadcast before supper. Radio and television are certainly big helps to farmers. So are the agricultural publications to which Richard and his family subscribe. The press, radio, and television provide farmers with important information. They are a part of agricultural communications. Another career area with many exciting job opportunities, especially for people with college training in agricultural journalism. Reporters, editors, photographers with agricultural backgrounds work on the staffs of educational, governmental, and commercial farm publications. Advertising departments and agencies use many artists and writers to direct the advertiser's message to farmers. But we hadn't talked about agricultural education, my field, and Ellen's too. Of course, a college degree is necessary for almost all jobs in education. The home economics classes that Ellen teaches help many girls become good wives, both on farms and in cities. Ellen's experience with many homemaking chores since she was a child made her interested in teaching home economics.
Colleges and universities also employ many teachers in their agriculture schools and departments and in their very important extension services. These are often teachers whose background in farming, like mine, have led them into agricultural education. Ellen and I were well aware of the importance of agricultural education to farmers and to our nation. Richard and I still had to go through his records, but I was sure he had a better idea now of some of the many opportunities open to him in agriculture. After supper, as Richard's family played and sang, I saw the closeness that exists in a family that works together. And why so many young people like Richard with farm backgrounds want to stay in agriculture. That night, Stanley seemed as interested as I was in looking through a booklet that Mr. Wilson had given me. It was put out by the land-grant colleges and it told about careers in crop and livestock farming, agricultural research, industry serving agriculture, agricultural conservation, agricultural services, and businesses that are a part of agriculture. Agricultural Communication and Agricultural Education. I know that these careers and many of the better jobs in agriculture require a college education. Yes, I have much to think about because I have a decision to make, as many people do who are beginning to plan ahead for their career in agriculture.